right, some of you have been asking me about how does the little Pajero Sport tow this boat and in order to, I thought, all right, let's test it. And you know, I like a good, I normally don't do videos of cars on the channel and I like a good underdog story. So um, here we go. We're basically towing the big Caribbean 23 foot. We're about to tow it up the Clyde Mountain. So if you want to test a car, how a car tows, you tow something up the Clyde. There's not many steeper mountains around. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, stability when towing is excellent with this car. It doesn't bounce around or get pulled around or anything like that. And the engine, even though the spec sheet is pretty poor, like doesn't sound anything great the torque and the power figures of this car but the eight speed gearbox really is quite an impressive unit like we've owned plenty of four-wheel drives between me and brad and family and mates and whatever <clears throat> and um this is like probably the lowest spec of all of them to be honest and yeah let's see how we go it's definitely we're not going to be winning any races here um, but providing the car can basically keep pulling and not fully die down in speed then that'll do effectively you know I did tow once with a we had a brand new Hyundai Santa Fe a few years ago um, which apparently can tow up to two ton and we towed about oh, 1,700 kilograms up the Clyde and like going to the coast and back. And I tell you what, it towed so poorly that on sweeping hills in a hundred zone, the car was literally dropping down to 40 kilometers an hour and it was unable to pick up any speed or hold any speed whatsoever. So yeah, something about the Santa Fe's they're an absolute woeful tow car. Um, the reason I'm mentioning it is because that Santa Fe really has about the same torque specs as this car. The big difference is the eight speed versus six speed gearbox and something to do with the way those Santa Fe gearboxes are tuned is just all wrong. They just don't kick down gears and yeah, it was really surprisingly poor. But right now, for example, I'm doing 60 k's an hour i've got got it flat to the floor and we're still gaining speed so slowly but we're still basically gaining speed so so far so good you're not going to win any speed contests and you're not going to overtake anyone i can tell you that but the fact that we are actually maintaining a reasonable speed here <coughs> Uh, engine temperature is all good. So there's a truck and a car in front of us and we're, we're virtually sticking with them. They're not sort of leaving us for dead or anything like that. Here's a particularly steep bit. There we go, just kick down. Oh, this is a real steep bit. Come on little fella, you can do it. Kick down a gear. Yeah, it's still pulling, doing 40, 50. And in case you guys are wondering, um, I'd say we're towing, realistically here, we're towing about 2,700 kilograms. This boat is 2,600 on trailer, fully empty. So maybe a bit more actually, we might be towing 2,800 kilograms at the moment. So I've got it flat to the floor here. We're sitting on 55 k's an hour. It's basically, it's not accelerating, it's not dying, but you know, that's about fast enough for these curves at the moment. So look, this is pretty surprising to be honest, like not surprising for me, because I've been, t I've towed this boat a few times already, but it is pretty surprising what the car can do. All right, so I started dying, she's dropped down there. Um, dropped down a gear and it's pulling hard now like it's 
Oh yeah, we've even got the aircon on. That was a mistake. That's all. That sucking grunt from the engine. So shouldn't have had the aircon on. So everything I've done so far has been on with the with the aircon on. Um, aircon will kill an engine a little bit in this situation. Now she feels like she's got even more grunt. But yeah, this is. Um, pretty surprising little tow car I would have to say that these are probably the most underrated cheap tow car you can actually buy that does a pretty reasonable job and they've got exceptional warranty on them at 10 years so yeah I mean can't really go wrong all right we're pulling over the top now she's struggling she needs to kick down it won't kick down but um still accelerating so we're still we're pulling up to 60 now we're getting overtaken that's okay coming right over the top of the Clyde now and there we go it's starting to uh gain speed like normal so well just in case any of you are wondering can you tow with this car absolutely so if you have anything that has more torque uh, and more grunt than this car you'll basically have no problem towing something like a caravan 23 so really no excuses is there to you know go out and get a nice big heavy soft riding boat all right see you guys soon